What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Self Started Show, Coronavirus Edition. I'm here with Alex. It's me, Mahim. We're back hey. after a long hiatus. Alex, say say hi to the folks. What's up, everyone? It's been a a hot minute, and uh, you know a lot of things have changed in the, I guess, in the the world space. We're in the in the apocalypse now, you know. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting to try to talk productivity and staying productive while we have this uh, circumstance going on that is unprecedented, like we said in the uh, non-recorded podcast. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, uh, a lot of people are down right now. They're scared um, and, there's a, and they're not really certain about what's going to happen in the future and that uncertainty can kind of cripple a lot of people make them not up to the level of productivity that they want to be or know they can be so we're hoping that this conversation can not only show you guys how we're dealing with it and trying to stay productive but also give you some ideas on how you can stay uh use the best of the, make the most of the situation yep. and try to stay as positive as possible because it's, uh, it doesn't help anyone to be really to kind of crumble under these tough circumstances. Like these are the times where we need to all stay strong and uh, make sure that we get through it properly rather than just succumbing to the moment. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, about, you know, working together uh, and, you, you know, we'll, we'll get through this. It's getting better in some countries already. Uh, I know the states is kind of hitting its peak or still going to the peak um but i think in a couple months we'll look back and you know this could be a great time of change for uh whoever's watching this and um you know if you use this time effectively and kind of you know work on yourself uh and maybe you might discover a new passion or you might uh get that thing that you always want to do uh you never had the time to do but now you do because you're staying at home 24 <laughs> 7 um but yeah so we're just gonna kind of talk about what we've been doing during the quarantine and then kind of give you some tips and uh or suggestions that might inspire you to take some action during your time at home yep yep um so you know what, let's just jump into it alex how what's your quarantine life been yeah so uh I live in New York, um, and I go to work in New York City, so I was taking the train, uh, you know, dealing with a lot of people, and obviously New York City has become, like, the epicenter for the United States. Um, I have been working from home since, like, March 12th, so almost a whole month already, and I... I've been living at home, uh, working from home, I have not gone, seen any other people outside my immediate family. Um, yeah, it's, it's really weird not actually going anywhere and just kind of waking up, going to work, and then signing off. And uh, I had worked from home before, but working from home five days a week has uh, proven with some of its own challenges and some benefits and it's also kind of took a little bit of getting adjusted to in terms of uh really understanding the whole situation there were there were definitely times where i felt that the quarantine was kind of getting to me but yeah there there's a lot to unravel uh in that but how's your situation going on mahim dude i feel like every single day it like it is just a blur and as in the sense that no oh, day yeah. feels that different than every other day like I every day is just like agree. the same thing and you know i'm you know i've been in my house for so such an extended this is as, as long i've been in my house in ever since i moved to la maybe in my life like i've never been isolated like this and so mm -hmm. and i'm sure most people that are uh, experiencing this can relate to that uh, i'm sure i'm sure the same situation for you for me it's it, it's been 
I mean, quite frankly, it's not in terms of what I do day to day as far as work and play goes. That's not really that different. You're just I'm just more limited as far as what I wear I can go. So, for example, one of the things that was big for me in terms of productivity was going to coffee shops because mm-hmm. I like getting out of the usual environment that I'm in. Uh, I think home for most people is a place to relax, have have fun, and work is you know. You could get some work down there, but I wouldn't say that that's where most people's peak productivity happens. Yeah. Um, so for me, coffee shops being shut down was a huge bummer. I remember walking to, I remember maybe a, a week and a half ago, trying to walk down to one of my go-to spots and just to see that they have a sign up that they're closed until April 19th at, at, the, at the time, that is what it said. So uh, And then I look around, I see like all these other businesses just, just like completely abandoned and just like really real real desolate looking so Mm -hmm. it it gave it definitely gave that that vibe of like well this is this is real you know this is not like a a a joke that is it's gonna go away like after like two days it's uh, something that clearly all these businesses are taking seriously because those are the people honestly the small businesses that they're taking the biggest hit out of yeah uh, definitely and so it's it's tough uh, for sure to see um as far as how, how i'm managing though like i think i mean foods food unfortunately hasn't been as like, like shortage as i've as i've heard in other places um, i've been able to get what i need um i've ordered some some snacks off amazon because i before i even tried to go to a grocery store because i was just uh, concerned with being able to get anything if i even went yeah. but the Vons that's by my house actually was uh, fairly well stocked when I went. Uh, the, I mean, there's clear the the <clears throat> there were clear things that people were prioritizing, like toilet paper, paper towels, <laughs> and yo, people uh, are hoarding you know, toilet paper. It's yeah, they're hoarding and rice too. I try to get some like yes. a bag of rice, but there's no there's no bag of rice. I have to get like one of the smaller yeah. boxes and rice bread. Uh, yeah, like all all the carbs are just gone. Because, you know, yeah, that's the yeah. stuff that keeps. But you know what? What car was still there? Potatoes. And that's something that I'll definitely okay. go back for. There so, you go. Um, potatoes were, were there. And, you know, and generally speaking, like, yeah, most of the other things that I needed are were there, too. So, like, like I said, the supply shortage wasn't as prominent. And I think if there is a hot, like, a even, like, more increased free, uh, spread of the disease in my area, I want to... Be able, I, I, I think I'm going to try to get food stocked up beforehand sometime in the next couple of days. So then if it something happens in the next couple of weeks, then mm-hmm. I'll be I'll be prepared. Um, now, so yeah, that's, that's as far isn't as... Isn't L.A. Uh, shelter in place, right? Is You guys uh, have been in that for a while. Yeah, it's or like, a, it like a stay at, yeah, it's like stay at, stay at home. I think that's the, the name that they gave it. So... Yeah, I, I don't think that's. See, I'm I'm not sure about the exact details, but I'm I'm someone that's been pretty cautious regardless, and trying. And there are days where I just never leave the house. Yeah, um, definitely. So, so, and if I, even if I do, let's see, maybe it's like go to go to the laundry room that's in our apartment. Um, so, it's like I'm not leaving the premise of the. Yeah, of the, you just. Area. inside most of the time exactly exactly mm-hmm. um but i will say though it, it, i think at night when no one else is around like i going for a walk just to like get some sanity while uh, like in my apartment area like that that definitely that definitely helps oh yeah you definitely need to get some fresh air and exercise a little yeah. bit you know yeah yeah so so what's it like uh, been for you man well thankfully i don't live in the city or like that close so i've been living out in long island uh with my my immediate family so my parents and my brother and that's been good um so there's been enough food for the most part um like the supermarkets aren't that packed it's mostly the city that's really getting hit from and upstate new york from what i understand uh and in terms of going outside I kind of just go out and walk my dog, and that is the extent of me going outside. <laughs> um, 
going for a walk throughout the day maybe and I haven't you know I don't really see a lot of people just kind of stay inside I'm either working uh, my day job or I might be doing something like playing games or talking to people on the computer and stuff like that so it's not like I didn't do those things before now it's kind of I'm doing those things more frequently because I'm always at home. <laughs> yeah, I totally, I totally agree yeah. with that. I think it just amplifies the things that you would have done at home. Then you, you just do it more often. Yes. Um, now, now let me ask, what do you think is like the biggest problem that you face in your day-to-day life because of this entire situation? Like you said, when uh, the days are kind of blending in together and it's, I, I honestly didn't really realize that it's been, a two uh we're going to week three of uh the quarantine um and me not leaving my place so that has been kind of a struggle and kind of like really planning out what my days are looking like because everything kind of feels the same um it obviously there are like some challenges from working from home in terms of oh uh you know it's work mode right now i'm busy can't can't like talk to the family or like do certain things uh have to get certain things done and that i've been for the most part pretty on top of it's just like okay these are the stuff i have to do and i'll go do it uh i think more so in planning my own personal time uh because now i just have i guess an abundance of it and it's like okay with this time i should you know kind of plan stuff or kind of maybe learn a new skill or like try some hobbies and stuff like that so that's something i've been more experimenting i think the hardest part might have been really kind of keeping up with in terms of physical activity since all the gyms are closed and oh dude totally i think yeah that's that's probably my my biggest my my, my most uh difficult challenge that that's been going to the gym because i I don't even i don't even want to go to the gym that's in our apartment uh, complex it's open um I don't even know if it's open because I haven't even walked. I haven't even dared walk and find out <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. So, so, yeah. And before that, before this whole quarantine thing, I was going to the gym consistently uh, and it, like I was like making good progress. So now yeah. because of the slowdown, it's definitely hurt uh, hurt me in that regard. Um, so the challenge definitely has been trying to how, like how do you address that and how do you work out at home and make sure that you can at least get some sort of exercise in even if it's not at the level that you would might get with uh, weights yeah there's definitely i've seen like a lot of videos on youtube about like at home workouts and uh kind of you know like no equipment workouts and stuff like that Mm -hmm. and some of them are pretty decent so uh that's kind of just been something like i've been trying to do you know like calisthenics push-ups sit-ups whatever Mm-hmm. Um, want to do more running definitely. Uh, but now that we're talking about the stuff that we want to do and we could do, uh, I guess this is a good segue into kind of telling people how you can make the best of your time in quarantine. <laughs> yeah, so I think you what you talked about with trying to plan out days. I, th- I think that's kind of where it starts because you have so much unstructured time now. Even if you're working from home, like you, it's mm-hmm. not the same as like. You, like obviously, like I'm, I'm, I'm sure you can attest to this when you have a nine to five schedule and the place you have to be at, where yeah, it gives you that structure of what your day is gonna look like. So I think trying to create some sort of structure that uh, you set for yourself is probably not like would be step number one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So in terms of like working from home, uh, I kind of try to keep my day similar to how my work day would be. Like I come to the office around nine o'clock. I make sure to get, like, a morning coffee and, like, read the news a little bit and then, like, ease my way into it. And then same thing, I still take lunch at the same time and I still sign off at the same time. So it kind of is the same in terms of that. Uh, and just really what I found uh, about working from home and for other people that are working from home, you can also implement this, is really getting into the work mode in terms of, like getting ready and like getting dressed into your outside clothes or whatever and not actually going to work in your pjs because i i've done that and then i feel like oh i'm at home i'm not really working working and then it doesn't become like the most productive day so 
by oh dude that that is so that's such good advice because yeah. I, I totally feel the same way Be if you don't wear clothes that puts you in that mindset of like all right this is like work time it does it, it actually makes such a dramatic effect for me personally if i'm wearing mm-hmm. pajamas and trying to do work like like my legs were for sure were going to be crossed on top of the chair instead of like feet planted on the ground as if they would be during an office and yeah like you just you're just in that mindset of like all right let me just let me just go click off google docs and slack for a second and just check out some youtube and uh youtube leads to like oh let me open up this game just play for a little bit and then like next thing you know you're on on your tv <laughs> and not even the in the same gone. room anymore and then like it's like five thirty, and you're like damn it what just happened so, yeah. yeah dress dressing i think that the whole like the underlying principle behind that is like you have to try to emulate the the conditions of your regular work schedule as much as possible yeah definitely you know? You need to really get into that kind of mindset that's saying, like, I am here to work and I'm going to work. <laughs> yeah, I I totally, totally feel that. Um, so, yeah, I think, yeah, so like we said, structure, that's the the first thing you want to try to do and try to emulate those, the, the what the day-to-day is like. And I'm sure it helps when you have a team that you're working with, so you're trying, you have to work at similar hours. Yep. Um, and uh, so that's definitely one thing that helps uh, keep you accountable to it. And if you're someone like me where you don't have coworkers, I think like theoretically, and I'm not doing this right now, but I'm, I know that this works like having some sort of accountability person that, you know, like, all right, you're going to work at the same time. Um, Mm -hmm. even if you're not working on the same thing, just so you know, like, all right, this person is like monitoring. It's the the mental state that you're in. It's like, all right, they're working, so I'm working. It's like the same idea of when you go to the coffee shop and you see people working around you or you go to a library, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, these people are working, so I should be working too. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you, you feel that, like, social pressure to... Uh, to, And in social pressure, in this sense, is, like, more positive and, like, useful. So you feel that need to do what everyone else is doing because they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, and you definitely want to be what you're supposed to be. You don't want to be that guy that's dragging the whole team down per se yeah definitely yeah so what, what do you think is another another tip that people can use to to uh try to try to stay productive during these times yeah so i think not in terms of just uh i guess working uh like professionally uh you can also kind of do We've talked a lot about different types of self-improvement habits in terms of taking up reading, taking up uh, like self-reflection. So that could be in journaling, that could be in meditation, that can be in, I guess, like talking with your friends also. It's like very therapeutic and it's also socializing with while social distancing. Um, mm-hmm. So a lot of these things is kind of like self-care. Um, so, you know, it's easy to kind of let yourself go and be like, oh, okay, I don't actually have to see anybody. I don't need to keep up an appearance or really take care of myself. It's like, no, you now more than ever, you really should uh, to really take yourself um, and make this time like a, a glow up period, if you will. Mm. So some things that I've been doing, I've been, no problem yeah yeah so some things i've been doing that i mean i've been always doing was uh journaling and reading um been reading think and grow rich by napoleon hill almost done pretty good book uh a lot of relevancy in terms of just success principles but i think i want to more hammer on on like trying things that you haven't done before and also reaching out to people and like doing social stuff uh online Mm -hmm. so i don't know about you but have you been like keeping in touch with people and really you know like social gatherings while not actually being together have you been doing something along those lines yeah so i definitely try to keep in touch with uh, people that um, I mean I have my usual people that I try to keep in touch with but even mm-hmm. other people that I might not talk to as often try to reach out to them yeah and, definitely yeah like I feel like this is like kind of a time where everyone's 
like you, you kind of know where the other person's at, even if you they're, but what, when things are normal, they're at uh, different, we're all in different parts of our lives and doing different things. But now kind of everyone's kind of in the same boat. So, you know, you, you have that off the bat, you have that mutual thing that you can just jump parlay off of and go into like, Hey, you know, it's been a long time. Uh, felt like uh, we should, you know, connect. Yeah, that's definitely something that uh, is really good advice is reaching out to people that you've kind of been meaning to talk to. Now, you know, like you have a lot of time to actually catch up and, you know, see what they're doing. And uh, I'm sure that they also have a lot of time themselves considering the situation. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, someone who you might have been super busy before. Now, you know, like, all right, they're definitely they definitely have more time to offer than they would have so yeah definitely take advantage of that yeah yeah so on a similar note i want to also say that this is a good time to think to build skills that you think would be useful for when things go back to normal obviously the economy has been in shambles because of like you know business is not operating and people not going out and consuming and whatnot um, but there is going to be a time mm-hmm. where, you know, they're they're going to be ready to, you know, people are going to be free to go back to work and start spending money, and they're, you know, the economy is going to go back up again, and companies want to want to uh, start hiring more r- rampantly. So you want to be ready for that, especially if you're someone that's looking for a job that was in the middle of a job hunt. Like I know one of our friends, uh, and he's Shad. He's been looking for a job, and this job hunt doesn't really stop because of the quarantine if anything it just gives him more more leeway to go harder onto the the job hunt so that he could be prepared for when that next opportunity comes yeah definitely like you know you can spend all this time really like watching netflix and playing games and you know hanging out online and that's good like you really should kind of do that to keep your sanity but it's also a good time to, you know, invest in certain skill sets that you want to have or you are might be valuable to you in your career. So like a lot of there's a lot of free courses in terms of computer science, like on free code camp is an example. Code Academy. These are things that like if you want to learn how to code, you can. And uh, they have courses taught by Ivy League professors for free. So that's something that you can learn. If you, there's also plenty of content online. So in terms of YouTube, uh, like there's also course sites like Udemy or Coursera. Uh, so there's basically a course for anything that you could ever want. It's online and you can learn something new and apply it to your life to make it a little better. Yeah, like, I mean, think about it like this. Wouldn't you want to be someone, well, most people, I would say are going to be worse off uh, after this, uh, after we get back to normal than they were before this coronavirus thing happened, wouldn't you mm-hmm. want to be someone that put in the work right now to be better off than you were even before all this coronavirus st- stuff happened? Someone with more skills, more uh, tools, more uh, uh, discipline than they had before? Yeah, definitely. And I guess that's the kind of the, the beauty of more time is that you have the time and uh, to work on these things and really i guess hunker down on the stuff that you find it is important and if it's important you should now you have the time to work on it yeah that excuse is yeah now speaking of think something that can uh hinder you while you're at home like how how's it been like being uh, around your uh like your folks uh, so much uh, these days i mean it's good uh in terms of like i guess family dynamic right (laughs) like Mm -hmm. uh we'll speak to each other in the morning and then kind of when work starts it's just like okay i'm working and then we we're all working from home so we all close our doors and we don't talk to each other and then Mm -hmm. come lunchtime we're like oh we'll chat what's on the news or whatever uh same with dinner time but nothing like we're not driving each other crazy right it's just Mm -hmm. like okay we kind of do our own things we like watch tv or watch a movie or something like that nothing crazy it's just you know getting by uh Mm -hmm. in this tough time how about you because you're living alone right so how is that and do you have any advice on how to i guess deal with that uh i think 
Well, well, my advice kind of depends on what type. Of, if you're like someone who's like craves social, uh, like physical social uh, contact, then I don't really have advice for you because I'm I'm pretty okay with being alone. And generally speaking, um, my, I mean, my girlfriend comes over like once every week, uh, which which so like it's not like where I'm completely just alone, but. Mm-hmm. But uh, on the the other six days of the week, I'm pretty much just like in my house. Like I like being in my my own space. I I think I'm totally okay with just being alone. So it's it's not really a problem. So I think if for someone who it is a problem for, I don't have advice for you. I'm sorry. This is the wrong podcast. For you. <laughs> well, maybe Joe Rogan has something to say about this, but I don't. <laughs> Uh, if you're alone, uh, like we said, you should reach out to people, right? So yeah. reach out to people that you haven't spoken to in a while or people that you usually speak to and, uh, kind of check up on them. And, you know, there's a lot of social activities that you can still participate in, uh, even though they're online, you know, you guys can like watch a movie together. So it's kind of like going to the movies. If you, one of you guys like streams a movie and then you all watch it together, it's like you're all watching it at the same time um or you can yeah 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 exactly i, I yeah. did the i did a similar thing with this uh netflix drama that i watched with my girlfriend and we basically just try to sync it up and watch it at the same time so it yeah. feels like you know we're we're there together yeah it's just that commonality and like that human touch to the things that you're doing because it can be a little maddening if you're really not talking to anyone and also something like I don't know if you do this, but I definitely do is like playing games with people. So online games have been, uh, and this could be anything. Uh, and there's a game for any type of person out there. Um, and even playing board games. Right. So one of my friends actually like took it was had his phone out and it was like videotaping a board game. And then we were each like taking turns. It was like a cooperative board game. So stuff like that. Uh, you can get creative. Um, you know, it, 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 I saw a video where they were saying that if you really like had something important that you want to work on, um, and you might not have the resources right now, but you can be creative with how you want to do things and kind of come out, as you said, uh, out of this quarantine better than you were before. So, yeah. 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 I think that's a you know, great point where, Often, you know, sometimes it's better to be restricted so that you're, create, you're forced to be more creative than you would have been if you had all the resources at, at, um, and normal things in your life going on. You, you really are put into a different out-of-the-box situation and you have to think of out-of-the-box solutions to the problems that you might uh, encounter or want to uh, overcome. Definitely. So, have you been doing anything new, would you say, in terms of hobbies or interests during this time? Watching TV. Um, I, I'm one that doesn't actually watch a lot of TV. Uh, mm-hmm. So, now I've taken up that hobby. Um, other things that I've done, I've started playing more uh, different types of games with people. I've been reaching out to like my friends from study abroad a lot uh, and so because we're all working from home so we can Mm. you know chat more often uh in terms of the more productive space of things uh i've still been reading consistently so that's been good i've recently taken up looking at courses so i'm kind of like slowly learning uh golang on a udemy course Mm. um but kind of on that front it's just you know taking the days as they come by and kind of little stuff right uh, yeah. Still, still working and have my day job, and uh, you know, if you aren't as fortunate to have a job to work on, you know, like you said, you should build, you can build those skills for when this finally and it does eventually pass over. But yeah, yeah. Ha- yeah. Ha- has anything new really been going on for you in terms of like skills or career development or habits and self discipline? Well, as uh, starting with hobbies, I would say. Um, I don't, I'm not someone that really watched, uh, TV shows. Yeah. So 
I started watching, like I said, I mentioned before that I watched this Korean drama with my girlfriend, which I haven't done in like years, but I, beside that, like I just don't watch like Netflix or um, like Hulu or anything like that. So that was definitely a new thing that I've been, that I've done recently. Um, mm-hmm. I would say also reading. I ha- haven't been reading consistently in a long time but now i've been reading books like the alchemist and i actually find myself enjoying it and you know not to say that it's surprising but it's not something that i expect if i was to plan out the year in the beginning of the year i wouldn't have said like oh in march i would have been reading and uh as a hobby so that's been cool i like i actually like reading while doing some stretching on a uh, yoga mat. Oh, that's I, good. I, I find that that's like a good way to do uh, two things at once and uh, do like do two good habits at once. So that's been a good way for, for me to get in the exercise at, on top of um, getting the, the pages in. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. I, I kind of do the, the same thing. I have an audio book playing and do some stretching. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and as far as... Uh, career stuff goes so my schoolwork is actually it's so i've been taking online classes uh, for a marketing certificate i've been doing and so that hasn't really changed how that the how that's approached on a day-to-day basis but um recently i finished we become recently all the all the uh, ucla courses have transferred to online so there's Mm -hmm. There's a, uh, where am I going with this? Okay. That, that, that was a, that was a pointless fact, but, uh, <laughs> all the schools are online. Everything's the, online. <laughs> uh, everything is online, which you all probably all knew, but, um, my, I, I feel like I've, I've been figuring out more ways. I've been like fine tuning my productivity system is what I meant to say, as far mm-hmm. as how do I get this schoolwork done? So I'll give an example. What I like to do is break down each of the final projects into sections and then section so let there's like five main sections i figured out that all right i should make those five main sections break those down into the the three main subsections that are in each uh, category and then for each subsection i have a progress bar that shows all right what percentage of it is done what percentage of it is left and Mm -hmm. then all these things like add up to how much of the entire full project is done. So then what, what I realized is that it gives me a more accurate assessment of how far I'm through a project than just being like, Oh, it's either done or it's not, or like I'm halfway done. And then, or like giving like a ballpark. Now it feels, it feels more fine tuned than I can. And then I can kind of try to reach for milestones. So I'm like, all right, let me today. I want to get from, 26% 26% of the project done to 50% of the project done. And so I can measure it and know that, all right, I'm getting closer and closer. So I have that motivation to keep uh, working instead of like kind of just stop at some arbitrary point where I feel like tired or something. Yeah. So that's, that's something that's been, uh, I've been experimenting with and trying to tinker with. That's good. Uh, yeah. I think that applies to a lot of any project really. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. To have the, measurable goals and you know keep them, I guess, break things down into smaller steps, so it's more easy to digest and work towards, right? Yeah, yeah. Spreadsheets, spreadsheets, everyone. <laughs> I, I I recommend it. Uh, yeah. So and actually, because of what I did with the schoolwork, I've been able to transfer that structure to like my other tasks. So it it does it has provided a a beneficial system optimization for me in all aspects of productivity awesome yeah yeah so um it's been good hopefully it uh, continues and uh, it's definitely something that i, I would consider if, if even if, if to say that there's a silver lining maybe of this coronavirus thing it would probably be like that would be probably one of the few um but like i said you know we're trying to make the most of a shitty situation here yeah definitely you just kind of have to get creative right and yeah. do what you can Mm-hmm. cool all right so i think uh, you know i think we've 
talked a lot about what people can do, what we've done and what's worked, what's, um, and how we've managed. So I think, uh, do you, do you have any other thoughts? Yeah. Kind of just like part of remarks is just, you know, wash your hands, uh, social distancing. Uh, if you do have to go outside, uh, make sure that you're like not touching your face or, uh, keeping your distance away from people and also, you know, sanitizing your surfaces and your hands, um, often and for like the virus isn't, you know, it's not actually that in terms of like deadly, right? Uh, it's deadly Mm -hmm. in individuals that have underlying health problems and that's, that's the problem, right? Um, so don't think about it. It's just yourself. It's, uh, you know, the people around you and the people that you love and care about. So just, uh, be safe and we'll, we'll get through this. Yeah. Yeah, guys, be safe. Um, remember we're, we're all going to get through it, but we got to get through it together. So, um, stay strong, use this time wisely, like we said, and, we're hoping to talk about more productivity stuff in a different situation once uh, things clear up and hopefully get better. So with that said, thanks for listening. And we are signing out, guys. Thank you very much. Take care. Yeah. See you next time.